Okay, so we're now looking at uh, using the derivative to actually find um, some things like equations of tangents and normals. So just to remind you, um, I've got a certain point x, okay, and at x there's going to be a tangent, and a tangent looks like that red line, and the normal is the line that meets the tangent at a right angle. Okay, so normal meets the tangent at a right angle. Okay, copy that and come across. Okay, so we have found that the gradient of the tangents is the derivative that we've been finding. And to find the normal, we've still got to find the tangent. And then what we do is we take what's called the inverse negative reciprocal. So what happens is, like for instance, if the gradient of the tangent is 2, then you turn 2 upside down into a half and then turn it to the opposite side. Um, so, like for instance, if the gradient of the tangent was negative 3 quarters, then the gradient of the normal would be positive 4 thirds. So you turn it upside down, reciprocate it, and then change the sign. Okay, copy and come across. Okay, so let's look at an example of an equation of a tangent and normal. These are pretty straightforward. Um, just remember that uh, tangents and normals are straight lines, so at the end of the day, we have to have y equals mx plus b as our, you know, something in that form as our answer. Okay? So, it doesn't matter if you find the tangent or the normal, you've always got to start with the derivative. So we just start with the derivative and we just use that shortcut method. So x squared turns into 2x, 2x turns into 2, and 1 just disappears. Okay? So we're just in using that shortcut method. And so we say, at x equals 0, because that's the value we've got given, y dash equals 2 times 0 plus 2 equals 2. So straight away, I know that the gradient of the tangent equals 2, and I also know straight away that the gradient of the normal equals minus a half. And we're going to use both those values in this question. Now, we can use, there's two ways of doing it. We've got y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, okay? Or we can just use y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to just use y equals mx plus b. But in regardless, we have to have a y number to substitute in. And at the moment, I've got an x number, but I don't have a y. So what we're going to do is at x equals 0, y equals the original formula, 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 1, so y equals minus 1. So what we're going to do is we'll do the tangent question first, and then we'll do the normal question second. Okay, so we've got y, we've got m, we've got x, we don't know what b is. Okay? Um, whereas if you use this form, uh, you just put it in and the b value comes out. So let's have a look at the tangent. So y equals mx plus b. The y number is minus 1. The m value, we're doing the tangent, is 2. The x number is 0 plus b. So b equals minus 1. So the tangent is y equals 2x minus 1. Okay? So we've done the tangent question. Now we're going to do the normal. So we're going to do the normal question now. So what I've got y equals mx plus b. y is still minus 1. But now m is going to be minus a half. And x is still 0 and plus b. So b equals minus 1 again. And so this time the answer is y equals minus a half x minus 1. Now it turned out they look similar, but it's only because the x, if the x value was 0. If x had been any other number but 0, then you wouldn't have the same value. Okay, so that's how you do it. So let's just go through it again. Okay, it doesn't matter if you find the tangent or the normal, we've got to find the derivative. Okay. Then we substitute the x value that's given in the question to find the derivative, and that derivative is the tangent, 
and then to find the normal we just take the opposite. We've got to have a y value so we use the x value into the original equation and then we just set up a y equals mx plus b. Now obviously you can use that also and you'll get the same answer. Okay. Uh, so let's have a look at this question. So example two, find the points. So finding the point means we're looking for an answer that has just x comma y on the curve, blah blah, where the gradient of the tangent is parallel to. So we've got a parallel to this line and we don't know what the point is. So if it was going to be parallel, they're the same. Same gradients. Same. So that means that m equals 4. Okay? That's the gradient of the line. Now, what we do now is look at the derivative. So y dash equals 2x plus 2. And that's when the 4 comes back into the game. So 2x plus 2 equals 4. So 2x equals 2. Just subtract 2 from both sides. So x equals 1. So I've got the x value. Now we've got to find the y value. So y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 3 equals 1 plus 2 minus 3 equals 0. So the point that we're looking for is 1, 0. So find the point on the curve that where the gradient is parallel, and the answer is 1, 0. Okay, copy that and come across. Okay, so there's the exercise, exercise 20A, and you'll have plenty of practice. Thanks.